Hey, I got something, something to say I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling I've seen a lot of people who don't know what thirst is I've had a taste of evil and tried to cure the sickness But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts I'm setting down gravel while you just follow the path I'll lead them into battle while you're just too scared to act I'll leave the knife right in my back So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling So this is the main solar system that powers the core infrastructure in the house. It's around two and a half kilowatts, six panels of around 450 watt each. It's powering up the internet and it's super stable so that I can always connect from anywhere and control the rest of the project remotely. That has been fundamental to me and it took many, many iterations to develop a system that is now rock solid, the panels won't go blown away when it's windy and stuff like that. Then here you can see a thermocyclon which is used to heat up cold water come from the well and then we use it for shower and for kitchen. Here is a different viewpoint on the thermocyphon. The six solar panels, recently installed siren. Hey Google, turn on the siren. That can be triggered in case of somebody trying to break into the house. Here we have a mast that has been recently increased with another half and one and a half meter pole on top of which I installed the motorized PTZ camera. This is a ubiquity satellite dish which is used to share internet connection to the other side of the land but it's got uh, great capacity to reach I think uh, even 50 kilometers or so in case of a straight line and there is nothing in between but here at the project we just use it to 
connect with the Tao Silence House at the end of the land so that we don't have to pull 100 meter wires. Then now we're looking at the 4G antenna which is pointing at the cast somewhere over there. And some electric box which has a Wi-Fi socket which triggers the uh, siren. <laughs> Here you can see one of the IP cameras, one of the first ones. All the wires and grounding. And the banana tree. The workshop. A little solar light. There is a workshop camera on the left side over there. And here, beautiful roses. So now I'm standing on the other side of the house, just behind the solar panels. From here, we can see a few more things. Another solar light. A solar panel here powering up this floodlight. There is also another IP camera called Backyard. From this side, you can see it. I'm actually standing now on the chimney <laughs> and this is the first geodesic dome that has been built Hi guys, so this is a geodesic dome which is a multi-purpose area uh, right now I'm charging uh, the electric scooter here we have also a projector here which projects to the wall on the opposite side Everything in here, just like in the house, it's voice control. So here we have a Google, Google Hub, which can control currently the ceiling fan and the light. And yeah, this is just about it. The scooter and the car with the empty gas bomb that I'm gonna take to refill. Because right now I'm still heating up the house with the little gas heater. Because it's more efficient than... Uh, burning electricity but my vision for the future is to expand the solar system so that even in winter I can be heating up the house with uh, electricity it is in fact possible even now but the insulation of the house especially on the roof from the from the bottom side is uh, non-existent so the house would lose uh, the heat quite quickly but all this will be done uh, in 2022. Well, now I'm standing on a workshop on the roof that's made of six solar panels. Each of these panels is 430 watts. It's the second largest system. It is powering the high pressure water pump that is sucking water out of well and distributing all across the terrain. It's also powering up reverse osmosis, filtration system used to achieve drinking. Uh, it's also powering up washing and all the tools. On the right you see Kiko, which is my donkey. Kiko, come and say hello. Kiko. Uh, he doesn't want to say hello. <laughs> but he's been enjoying the bananas from the banana tree on my left side used to be tiny when I framed here and uh, it grew to this height like four or five meters and this year it gave its first banana so um, I was giving them to Tico and he absolutely loved them <laughs> well these are the rest of the bananas from the banana tree And here is my good friend Kiko. Kiko! 
Kiko. Lunch time. Kiko, lunch time. Kiko, yes. Lunch time. <laughs> Say hello. Mm. Gracias, Martin. Me gusta comer plátanos de tu árbol. Muchísimas gracias. I am Kiko. And I keep this place clean. But I miss some company. So yeah. This is our friend Kiko. From this side of the house, you can see again the solar panels, the mast, and the air conditioner slash heater. Then the entry to the workshop, you have another IP camera, which is then able to detect motion in the direction people or cars passing. So it's just easy for me to know if somebody is uh, entering the land or not. Then these are rain sensors, so we have water irrigation uh, all around the place. And essentially, when it's raining, it just uh, overrides the system so it doesn't turn on and doesn't start <laughs> watering when it's not necessary. Yeah, the workshop, it's, uh, it's got a lot of action right now, as you can see. But I will take you through the basics anyway. <laughs> Here in the corner we have a solar system, 3 kilowatt, 4 250 amp hour batteries. Um, there are many components to this, I'm not really gonna bore you too much with it, but it's got like Wi-Fi sockets with power consumption so that I can monitor the power consumption from this place. It's got also some um, connectivity via USB to the house so that I can uh, connect to this. Uh, remotely and monitor the you know, power usage and uh, change setting and debug and st stuff like that well then it's got the washing machine which is a brand new one finally the other one was left outside and it uh, caught fire absolutely exploded here we have a five bar uh, high pressure pump which pulls the water from the well and distributes to both sides. To the left, it goes to the rest of the land, where the second geodesic dome is, where the silence house is, where the second wooden house is, and then to the right, to, to my house, to shower, to kitchen. These two devices are called spin down filters. So these are just very handy to filter out like the heavy se um, sediments up to 50 up to 80 microns I think and you can just open it up and it will flush all the dirt down I'm not gonna do it now because the pump would start and then you wouldn't hear me talking but you get the idea um, these are the second sediment filters uh, where you can put uh, any filter you like right now I put uh, 50 micron I believe uh, filters so it's just uh, now finer filtering of the sediments from the water and uh, when the water leaves here then we can basically use it for the basic stuff like taking showers or cleaning stuff uh, cleaning you know fruit and vegetables and things like that but then if you want uh, drinking water then we have another inlet here for the reverse osmosis system which got more sediments filters it's got the reverse osmosis membrane which uh, filters out all the impurities 99% or whatever and then it also adds some minerals back to the water so the water is you know uh, more valuable and it's also tasty and then you have a tub here and yeah you turn it on turn it off just like you would normally well I'm now using it to dry my clothes. Normally we would have a generator here, uh, but I'm trying not to use the generator at all. I'm just uh, really trying to stay solar. But uh, at this moment the generator is being repaired because it stopped working. But yeah, it doesn't really bother me. I, I don't really 
I don't really like uh, generators, it's just like for emergencies. And yeah, just some more equipment there, like electric blower and chopping up grass. High pressure water cleaner, which I use uh, quite frequently to clean the solar panels, for example, or, or the geodesic domes or anything else. It's super handy. So now I'm gonna tell you briefly about the waste management system, which we have a long way to, to go, but we do have a compost where you can throw everything else that you cannot recycle then if we go all the way this direction we have the two bins which I <laughs> I moved them all the way from Gandia which is like 10 kilometers away uh, during the preparation for my bodybuilding competition so I wanted to cut calories so I was just walking with them from the department store one of the bins is used for recycling, the other one uh, for stuff that cannot be recycled. And then we can walk through the shower. Where we have the latrine. So now I'm gonna show it to you from the inside. Sorry for the cables, it's still work in progress, I've been improving the connectivity to the security cameras so it was a bit frustrating because some of the uh, IP cameras were changing their IP addresses and it was just a bit of a nightmare but now it's all good So here we can see some of the finest art from my friends in London and then another system here which is a, again 3 kilowatt inverter charger it's got two 250 amp hour AGM batteries well then the latrine and uh, underground is like a thousand liter or two thousand liter septic which gets emptied manually you just open the latrine and you know, you put the hose in and suck it out. And then if you really enjoy spending time in a latrine, you can have a read. Or take the telescope and run outside and watch the sky. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> yeah. Or use the microscope. Well, it is up to you. This is the latrine 2.0 Well, Kiko is also gonna be keeping company for my friend Rene who is living in this house He hasn't started actually but um, I was preparing everything for him in terms of the infrastructure so this is already in a pretty good state there is a IP camera there at the top. And then uh, from inside it's right now it's empty but it's already set up with all the basic stuff that you would need. And this is the best part, <laughs> you have a direct view on Kiko, staring through the fence. <laughs> Kiko, say hello, say hello, yeah. <laughs> this is the house from outside. with one of the first uh, security cameras over there and again the mast with the banana tree and the well the well is not very deep, it goes around 3-4 three, 
three and a half meters, I suppose. Well, and here, relatively new addition is that galvanized uh, metal protection for the door and also for the window so that nobody breaks in uh, easily. And yeah, let me show you the house. As with the Google Home, everything is controlled here with voice. I have no switches. One switch for sentimental purposes <laughs> that I'll show you later. But anyway, this is the house. And uh, what I usually do, I just say, hey Google, I'm back. Hi, Martin, you f bastard. Sorry, <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, Google doesn't understand, but you get the idea. And so what happened here is just uh, Google turns on some routines, you know, that I set so I don't have to go and flip millions of switches. So it's still work in progress. I mean, it's always evolving. But what's happening is that it will turn on the entertainment system and the TV and everything. And it will then turn on the dashboard, uh, which shows like the basic uh, security um, uh, cameras and also the dashboard for uh, energy generation and usage. You will see that in a little bit. Then I'll also show you some of the stuff uh, through this um, motorized uh, security camera. As I said, everything is voice control, so I can do things like this. Hey Google, turn on office. Turning two things on. Right. The backlight, for example, as well. Hey, Google. Turn office light to green. Got it. Changing the monitor backlight to green. It's a little 3D printer there. And this is a lamp that I have from Granada. So I really love it. It's beautiful. And it's the only thing I have a switch for, because I quite enjoy actually uh, just having a switch for this one. It's LED, it doesn't consume any energy, basically, just a couple of watts. And here, there are four Philips uh, light bulbs. They are also um, controlled, as you would guess. Hey Google, activate Arctic Aurora in living room. Got it. Activating Arctic Aurora. Set living room light to red color. Hey Google, turn the extractor off. Got it, turning off the extractor. Hey Google, turn on the blower. Got it, turning the blower on. There we go, so the dashboard booted up. On this particular dashboard right now, in this point in time, you just see a front yard and backyard camera, and um, then there is a dashboard as well where you can see the generation of energy and like all the status of the system. Um, you don't really need um, anything special for that. Here we have a mirror with the light as well that you can control. Hey Google, turn on the mirror light. Hey Google, turn on the mirror light. Okay, turning on the mirror <laughs> light. Turn off the mirror light. Got it, right. turning the mirror light off. Hey Google, activate Savona Sunset in kitchen. Hey Google, set kitchen light to sky blue. Yeah, this is my favorite color. And also a new addition is the bigger fridge, which is awesome because I had a tiny little one before. Um, yeah, just the basic stuff like you would see anywhere else. Um, today I was grinding a lot of coffee because I slept only two hours. So I've just been drinking coffee all day and then I just have a coffee machine toaster, you know, some other appliances there. Um, here is another um, Google Home. 
which is uh, basically listening to me when I'm closer here to the kitchen so I don't have to shout to the other one. Um, and then this is like a, how to call it, like a, everything to do with the core infrastructure. So uh, 6 AGM, 250 amp uh, hour batteries. Then behind it is the 100 amp uh, MPPT charge controller. Um, let me turn on some light here. Then some interesting devices, which you will see here. It's a Raspberry Pi that is showing the similar stuff that you saw on the TV. Just a quick way I can see how much energy are we generating, how much are we consuming. So this is all custom made by myself um, and it's uh, essentially connected to all the MQTT devices such as the Wi-Fi sockets and um, also to the charge controller and it's able to get that measurement of you know how, how many watts are we currently producing then got some other devices here on the right is the Xavier NX uh, which is currently abused for uh, running a deep stack uh, AI system for the security monitoring so it's essentially running object detection on all the streams and then on the left you see another Raspberry Pi that is running a um, home assistant and home assistant is used um, to I'm not really using it just yet but it, it is used, it's got great potential to connect all the home devices uh, such as the Philip light bulbs, the sockets, uh, the routers, everything you have um, you can connect and automate a lot of stuff you can write your own code and uh, essentially make it to anything you want to um, so I just installed it recently a couple of days ago I'm not not been using it at all but I will be because it's the way to go and uh, on this side you see uh, a new computer running the Blue Iris uh, software for recording all the camera streams uh, 2 terabyte hard drive where it's uh, essentially where it's copying all the old data so this one has maybe 256 uh, gigabytes of uh, data fast storage which is mm, being used for dumping all the um, live stream data and then once that is full it will get gradually copied over and backed up to the uh, 2 terabyte uh, drive and then we've got some switch this big thing that is uh, noisy that is the inverter so it's a 3000 watt inverter with a peak of maximum 6000 watts yeah it's a good one but in the future I'll be upgrading to much nicer systems and using lithium batteries but this is what uh, what I have right now here you can see a modem just a 4G modem and a router uh, which is the main router here and some <laughs> tons of cables behind with like many um, Wi-Fi plugs controlling different things such as this main light for example hey Google turn off the main light <laughs> you get the idea okay turning the main light off right and also the backlight on the system is synchronized with the color that you see on the screen it can be also synchronized with the music you will see some videos for sure where I will demonstrate this to you Hey Google, turn on the main light. Got it. Turning on the main light. Hey Google, set office light to pink. Hey Google, activate concentrate in living room. Okay, activating the concentrate. And turn off the blower. Alright, 
turning the blower off. Hey, go go clean the house. Sure, starting till day 20. And yeah, this is the final thing I'll show you. COVID-20 It's been cleaning every day for the last two years and it's showed up to be an invaluable member of the house introducing COVID-20